What's going on guys? Another episode of Chillers and Chasers. Happy Fly Day. Just having some coffee, you know, as per usual. It's raining again. Uh, having coffee, time flies. Editing some videos for you guys. I uh, got some cool stuff on the way. Stay tuned. Uh, today for Fly Day, we're going to tie this black sculpin slash leech uh, style that I used for, uh, for walleye. Uh, this is, like I said before, this, those who watched uh, Walleye Wednesday this week, this is one of my go-to uh, patterns for walleye everywhere in Ontario, uh, mainly because I cut an Ontario record on it. So I'm kind of biased a little bit, but uh, this one's near and dear to my heart. So it's pretty easy fly, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's not complicated as far as fly goes. Uh, I'm running a couple of different, two, different, two different hooks, okay? C52S, right? In size uh, 2. And I also run the Partridge Universal Predator in size four. A uh, little finer, the four size is finer wire and smaller, so I'll use it for the, I'll clear the smaller flies and uh, versus the material. So I'll, I'll downsize my material to fit it. And uh, some sort it's like a sculpin. If you trim it the right way, it'll be like leachy sculpin -y. And if you use the big one, you can leave it bigger and fat and you can have the wire hook and have more material and you make it buoyant or not buoyant. So basically, slow and up in the water column will float a bit more because the wire thinner hook is thinner and this hook is a lot beefier so it'll kind of slowly fall a bit but you can compensate material depending on what you want to do it. For the head we're going to use a uh, scope and wall in black. Scope and wall in black, right? A couple of easy parts for that. It's a little bit not hard. If you've never used it before it's a little bit difficult to work with kinda. Uh, but this fly, I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be they're gonna be it's easy. You can tie it in black, olive, uh, white, whatever color you want to want to pick. And for the main body, or the sorry, the body, you can go two ways. You can go dubbing if you want to go dubbing. Uh, also, you can do uh, uh, black chenille, right, and uh, small, or you can go large if you want to make, make it really buoyant, or you can go the old uh, throwback to the blackest as, which. Um, Believe it or not, I had a hard time finding it, but anyways, uh, there's like no flash. So if you want flash, you can go flashy or you can go UV. Or if you want like this, the sheen but no flash, you can go with this one. Uh, I tie them both and let the fish tell me what they want. Can I go from there? Right? And for the uh, wing, I guess it's the wing, or the rest of the fly, black rabbit and magnum. You can tie it in medium rabbit. A regular rabbit or a magnum. I like the magnum one because then I get um, more bulk and more wiggle and a uh, little more of a bigger target for a final walleye. Especially if you're using dirty water or your river and since it's been raining like crazy, it's raining again today again, right? Uh, magnum is a little more of a vibration in the water and helps fit the walleye uh, pick it up. And if, if you're ripping through weeds, black is a good color anyways regardless of what you're doing. So black and white works good too, but we're doing some black. So let's hit advice and let's get this uh, pattern started. Uh, have, some co have some coffee. All right, and get to it. All right, let's tie this fly. I had to change my shirt because apparently camo in uh, black fly <laughs> doesn't show up very well. Imagine that, eh? Got some coffee in me, uh, black thread and six aught. It's kind of my go-to, six aught is kind of my go-to for 90% uh, of my flies, pretty much. All right, this pattern is also tied with uh, a wire sometimes on top, weave it through, but uh, I find I have a mixture of both. I don't find any different as far as, as long as you tie the rabbit down right, it doesn't really, uh, it holds. So um, we're gonna do like two shanks, basically. Shanking, well, the whole shank and then of the hook, plus another shank, so two shanks long. And then we're going to V the tail like usual. And this time I'll V the tail um, a bit longer so it wiggles a lot more. And then uh, if you're fishing current or if you're jigging it through weeds, we're going to, uh, we're going to V it uh, quite a bit longer like this. All right? A lot longer. So I decided to use the, um, the mustad hook C52S. Stinger deer hair hook, standard 2XL, only for the fact that it has a bit of a wider gap. And this fly, I'm tying it for um, early season weeds, so I find it can rip through a lot more weeds, so it, it goes out at all. It's a bit heavier, so I'll do the up down jigging motion that I wanted to do versus the other one. 
The other one's an awesome hook too, and I have them in both. So, but this one, we're gonna do this one. I'm gonna tie it just as the hook goes on the bend a little bit. Not there. Take my rabbit, measure it out, right? I'm gonna go right about here, and we're gonna separate the fur from the hide, push it back, and then wet it. Use water if you want, or lick it, or whatever you wanna do. To get the fur to go backwards, like so, right? And we're gonna little space there. And then we're gonna tie our thread right there. A couple loose wraps, just get it where we want it. Pull it in the front tight, right? And then you want to put as many as you can in there to make it hold it, but you don't want a huge gap in there. So put more in there. A couple underneath to kick the tail up, right? And then back in front again and tight. I'm not a hold on there. It's a bit crazy. Like that, right? And I'm going to push this back, and we're going to take the Estaz Black, right? I don't know, three or four inches ish, not that much, yeah, four inches, as long as the middle finger is. And then we're going to start it front third of the hook and tie it down, right? And then wrap it back to the hide and then rub it tight there because we're gonna go around there again and then come back up here and then we're gonna wrap it tight to the hide a couple times build a bulk up and then we're just gonna wrap it all the rest of the body the taper to the front and leave a bit of a big gap in the front to tie your wool head Like so, okay. And then we're gonna take the rabbit and we're gonna tie it down over top of that. Leave the hide on there or the fur on there, and we're just gonna tie it like this and tie it front like before. We want it to be like all one piece, right? And then we're gonna cut this little chunk off here. That's why I, this is why I leave it longer, so I don't have to worry about it later. Leave it longer, and then all the fur kind of blends the head and the fur together. So it all looks like all one piece. Pretty good size chunk. Some kind of the longer fibers first. It's pretty big in the bottom. We're gonna pull out some of the under fur underneath. Get rid of that. We don't want that on there. And then we're gonna basically put this on as a wing on over top. We don't want it too long. We want it basically to blend in with the rabbit. So like, but it's like so I guess. Probably just pat just to the back of the hook, the hook bend. That's as long as you want it. We're gonna tie that right on top. Okay, and then this piece here, we want this, because we're gonna use this. We're gonna split it on both sides, and then tie in front of it. We're gonna use that after we make our head. Okay, then we take another piece, a little bit thicker, quite a bit thicker piece, and we'll pull this fur out again, under fur. Right. And these tip parts on here now, we don't want them. For this part so we can cut them off and use it for another fly we just want the fat part of the fly the meaty part and the same thing we're going to tie it on the front side my back side on that side and then we're going to split the material through the hook to the other side all right we're building this head as little as material as possible. There's a hundred ways to do this, this is the way I do it. Then we're gonna take a bit, one more piece of material. A little bit thinner, right? Cut off the tip again, again. Just a little bit thinner like this. And we're gonna invert the fly. And we're gonna tie it on the bottom. Like so. And then push it through the eyelid of the hook. Like that. Oh, some of that came off. Back side in a minute. Maybe you don't have to. And then we're gonna wet finish it. Pretty easy tie as far as fly goes. So you guys that are starting out, you wanna tie a bunch of these up, you can tie them in all kinds of crazy colors. So if you wanna get crazy, tie them in perch patterns or fire tiger or 
white, yellow, wh whatever color you, you like. You know, it works good for good, not just walleye, but it works for everything else. And then I've got this huge giant mess to deal with, right? So you got two ways to do it. You can either trim it with uh, scissors or flat ones. But I, uh, me on the other hand, I have um, a pair of curved scissors like zip. So. so I take it and I usually curve the scissors to cut the head, not to make sure I don't cut my wing that I made, right? Leave the wing there and just cut the head to shape it. If you don't have curved scissors, you just basically want to cut on a 45 at the top front half, cut on a 45, and then cut the sides, right? And then you can trim it later, and then look at the bottom. But curved scissors definitely make it way better, like easier to do with. And then you can make it as bushy or as not bushy or small tight as you want. It's like trimming deer hair, but it's easier to work with the deer hair, but a little more complicated to work with than some other stuff. But. I'll take my flat scissors and trim the pull up here and then trim the bottom off. And that's it. Got the wing there over top, it's legged in. That is the black sculpin leech. Awesome tie. Works good. Catches fish like crazy. I'm gonna go to not just for walleye, but definitely gonna go to for walleye for sure. And these other species as well. You can tie real small ones and tie it like as a tadpole. That works pretty good too. Uh, but this is my walleye uh, walleye fly. I love this fly. It's awesome. And that is my scalp and leech uh, for walleye. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you like this, really like this video, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for everybody out there for watching. I appreciate your support. Uh, if you tie this fly up and catch a walleye on it, tag me in it, would you? That'd be cool. It would be awesome to see you guys are using the flies that I'm using too. And if they work for you as well as they work for me and a bunch of my friends that fish with as well. Anyways, I'm Tails and Chasers. Thanks again so much for watching. I'm out.